To save space on our FTC robot, we're mounting the Rev Robotics expansion hub and the battery back to back vertically. The 3D models from Rev Robotics for the expansion hub and the battery were downloaded and then imported into Fusion 360. By using the models, it's easy to project uh, critical dimensions, bolt holes, and the different features that need to be designed into the encasement. The battery is retained using a simple spring clip and a finger hole was added to the base to facilitate pushing the battery up out of the uh, holder. Satisfied with the design, it was time to export the file as an STL for 3D printing. One of the new features of Fusion 360 is it allows you to change the units at the time of export. It's very handy to take an inch model and export it as millimeters. STL files, by their nature, are unitless, and typically 3D printers want everything in millimeters. This is a very handy feature. The STL file was then imported into the slicing software and it automatically calculated the required supports for all of the features such as overhangs. The estimated time to print is eight hours, so I left it to run overnight. The 3D printer contains a camera which allows it to be monitored throughout the print job. This is especially handy for overnight jobs that uh, may need to be monitored throughout the print. If something were to go wrong, it could be stopped. In this case, it was successful. The final print turned out great. I'm very happy. And I quickly uh, gathered up the uh, parts and uh, checked the fitment of the battery and the expansion hub. Everything fit beautifully. Of course, the real test is whether or not the battery can be installed easily. And it turns out it worked great. The cable even comes out the correct side. Thanks for watching.